Hello everyone, today we'll be learning how to set up automatic patching. During the course of the video, there will be pause breaks. It is highly recommended to pause and try it out yourself during these breaks. Let's start out with an introduction. This feature allows the user to create, activate, and patch automatically based on the settings configured. Remember, this feature focuses on the creation of the plan, not installing the patches. To find out more about setting up maintenance windows, check out our designated course. Let's begin by heading over to the Patches Catalog. To get there, go to Patches, Patches Catalog. These patches represent the applicable patches in your environment. To start setting up your automatic remediation plan rules, you must decide what patches you would like to patch. Today, I'll be focusing on a subset of these patches, specifically the Important Group B patches. The first thing I want to do is filter on Important Patches. Once filtered, my environment now represents all of my important patches. Next, I want to filter on the endpoint group, group B. Now that I have what I want, the last step is to save the filters selected by going to Save Filters, selecting Save As, and giving it a name and description. I now suggest pausing the video and trying it yourself. Next step is configuring your automatic remediation plan rules. To get there, go to Remediation Plans, select Actions, Create Edit Remediation Plan Rules, and you're there. This is where you'll see all of the rules you have created. Let's create one. After you add your name and filter created in the part before, it's time to choose how often you would like the plan to be created. If you patch every month, creating a monthly cycle may be best for you. In addition, it's best to create the plan a day before you plan to patch. This will allow you to run predictive patching beforehand and do your routine checks before the patch cycle takes place. Today, I'll be doing once a month on the third Monday of every month. I'd also like to be in the New York time zone. Here, you'll see two boxes that you can select. The first, creating a plan now, will do just that. If you select it and save, a plan will be created. You can see this if you go back to your Remediation Plans dashboard. Selecting Activate the Plan on Creation will take away the manual step of activating the plan. Remember, once activated, the plan will then wait for your scheduled maintenance window to begin patching endpoints in the remediation plan. By default, plans will not be activated when created and thus, checking this box will activate the plan. Next, select your workflows and you're almost ready to go. If you would like to learn more about workflows, you can learn more in our designated training videos for workflows. Now, simply scroll to the top, enable the plan if you want the plan to be active, and save the automatic remediation plan rules. Let's pause now and let you have a try. When viewing your plan from the table, you can check to see what patch filter the plan is using, whether the plan is enabled or not, and a way to quickly check if you have automatic activation on. Heading over to the Remediation Plans dashboard, your plan will appear in the new column when created and wait to be activated manually. As said previously, if you check the box Activate the Plan on Creation, then the plan will move straight to Pending and wait for the maintenance window to begin patching. It is easy to tell the difference between automatic and manual plans, as automatic plans will show a hashtag, while manual plans will show a user icon along with the user who created the plan. Let's go over a quick summary of what we went over in the video. First, create a save filter by filtering your applicable patches and saving the filters as a saved filter. Next, head over to the automatic remediation plan rules and create a rule. Lastly, Double check that your settings are correct and the rule is enabled by quickly viewing from the table. That's all for today.